Hey, I'm going to give you a quick tour of how to use the AltLab MotherBlog plugin. It's the plugin that's going to let your students' posts um, be written on their own blogs, yet show up in one central place on yours. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm logged into my blog, the place where I want the student posts to end up. Uh, I'm going to come down here to plugins, and I'm going to make sure two plugins are turned on. Those plugins are the AltLab MotherBlog. Notice I checked that box. And then down here, the feed WordPress blog. I've already activated them, but if I hadn't, I'd come up here after checking the boxes, select activate, and hit apply. Um, turning those two plugins on are going to do a couple different things. One of which is create this syndication piece in the sidebar. Um, so this is something we're going to set up right now. We're just going to go to syndication and feeds and updates. You're going to click it. and you're going to end up on a page like this. You want to make sure that update scheduling is set to automatically check for updates after pages load. Set that and then hit save changes. So what that's going to do is look at your students blogs every hour and pull in anything new. Uh, so it's important to tell them this isn't going to happen instantly necessarily um, but you know if, if something hadn't worked after two hours let's say then that's worth trying to figure out if something's broken so now that we've set that up um, what we're gonna do is is create a new page I've already created a page called blog sign up um, I've cut and pasted the default text in here this is a short code um, in this case we're calling the class UNIV 291-043 doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but it is unique. You want to make sure whatever category this is makes sense to you and your students, because this is the category that's going to be created on the student blog, and is if they don't choose this category, then their stuff doesn't show up where it needs to show up. So it needs to be unique, and it needs to be something that they're going to use um, each time they make a post. So once you've got that set, you can paste it in here. The short code's in the directions. Um, and that should be all set. Once you've uh, done that, you're going to publish your page, and the students are going to see something like this. So we're at blog signups. It's going to say, hey, to the student, do you have a RAM page blog? They're going to say yes. They're going to pick the blog that they want to use, and they're going to hit submit. It's going to make that category on their blog, so it creates it for them. There's no spelling issues, none of that stuff. All they have to do is when they write a post, and this only works for posts, they're going to check that box. Um, so now that you've got people starting to fill this out, you're going to want to come and check this one place. All the people who sign up are going to show up under links, all links. You want to make sure that it's putting them in the contributor category. Sometimes it doesn't do this initially, so you want to check this kind of early. And if you see it's not working, hit edit you're going to come to a page where you can change that stuff you'll just make sure this box is checked and then you'll hit update link if you do that one time early on it should work from then on what you don't want to do is have like 60 people sign up and and not check that box um, because for some reason sometimes you kind of have to jump start it to get it moving so once that's done this is a good place to come and see who all has signed up um, so you have to know how many people have done it uh, correctly and you can just keep an eye on it. Another place you can look to see how things are going is once again under syndication and syndicated sites you'll have the feeds and notice it'll say something like two items which means from this particular blog so far two posts have been syndicated in. This one notice doesn't say any items that means nothing's come in. You can click here and it'll take you to a weird looking page um, but essentially what this is telling me is they haven't written any posts in this category. You can always erase the word feed and you'll be back at a human looking page and it'll say, hey, for that category, UNIV 291-043, I didn't find any stuff. And you can also look in this case in the sidebar and see they haven't done anything in any categories. The only category is uncategorized. So that's a couple different things that you might check and look for. You don't have to do all that, um, but those are some easy troubleshooting areas as well. Hopefully that helps.